Hi, welcome to this corporate maths video on test solutions. In this video, we're going to look at what test solutions are and we're going to look at a typical exam question on them. A couple of years ago, actually, I think it's now about seven or eight years ago, I was in Barcelona and I spotted this market and then this market I thought had a really interesting roof. Initially, from a distance, I thought these were large hexagons, but then as I looked a bit more closely, I noticed there was lots of little hexagons that fitted perfectly together with no gaps. And that's exactly what a tessellation is. A tessellation is where a shape fits together with no gaps. So for instance, if you consider your bathroom tiles or your kitchen tiles, you might have squares or rectangles that fit together with no gaps, if they're tiles properly, I suppose. Um, but the, that's what a tessellation is, it's where a shape fits together with no gaps. So here we've got the regular hexagons, and as you can see, they fit together perfectly. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at so one of the places where three hexagons meet. So I'm going to look at this point here, where this hexagon, this hexagon, and this hexagon all come together. The size of each angle in a hexagon is 120 degrees. So this angle is 120, this angle is 120, and this angle is 120 degrees. And as you'll notice, three 120s add together to be 360, and that's why they fit together perfectly with no gap. Other shapes, like regular pentagons, where the angles are 108 degrees, they don't tessellate because whenever you try to put together the 108 degrees, you don't actually, you can't make 360 degrees out of those, and they just wouldn't tessellate. Okay, so let's have a look at our next pattern. We've got these equilateral triangles, and these equilateral triangles fit together with no gaps, so they tessellate also. And let's look at where six of the triangles come together. So let's look at this point here. Now, each angle in the equilateral triangle is 60 degrees, 60, 60, 60, and they will add together to be 180. So that means that this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, this angle here is 60 degrees, this angle here is 60 degrees, this angle here is 60 degrees, and this angle here is 60 degrees. And six 60 degrees, when you add them all up together, you will get, or multiply 60 by six, you will get that they add together to be 360 degrees. And again, that's why they tessellate, because they fit together perfectly with no gaps. Okay, so let's look at a typical question now. So you might be asked to show on a grid how a shape tessellates. So there might be a grid and one shape drawn for you, and you've got to draw that shape on the grid with no gaps between them, so they're fitting together perfectly with no spaces. So rather than drawing this, I'm going to cheat a bit here. I'm going to actually have got lots of the shapes here that I can drag on. So we've got this kite. So what I could do is I could draw another kite here, and then I could draw another kite beside it, and I could draw another kite beside it, like so. And then I could then draw some upside down kites that fit in perfectly into this space here. Then also could put in here another kite. And usually in the question it would say how many to draw. It would say, you know, drawn at least six or at least eight kites, you know, show how um, the kite tessellates. And you can see here, I could just carry this on. And as you can see, all the kites fit together perfectly with no spaces. Every time you draw them, you can put another one in the gap like so. That's it.